Hello, I am Jonathan Moreno, responsible for the aftermarket suspension range at NTN Europe. Here we are in the production lines for our 100% gas SNR shock absorbers. For all NTN group ranges, our production requirements aim for excellence to meet expectations of automakers in the automotive industry. It is obvious that we have the same requirements for the manufacturing process of our shock absorbers. Total control ensures qualities and performances. Shock absorber production consists of 11 main steps machining, grinding, polishing, and many others. I will take you to explore four of them that necessitate genuine expertise. Follow me. The choice of steel is key as we strive for excellence in our shock absorbers. The materials selected for the tubes and piston rods meet the same criteria that apply to the materials we use to produce our OE quality wheel bearings. They guarantee optimal quality and safety. After the rods are machined, they undergo localized heat treatment. The piston rod is induction heated to about 800 degrees, then cooled off to 40 degrees to fix the structure in place. This localized heat treatment makes the steel highly resistant to wear and impacts while the shock absorber is in operation. Now let's move on to the assembly of the valve located at the end of the rod. It requires very specific attention. These various precision parts are painstakingly assembled in a controlled environment. This key step creates the valve, it's the component that allows for the movement of the fluid damping. You know that our shock absorbers are 100% gas. Let's take a look at this process together. Each shock absorber is subjected to several successive cycles of rigorous controls. Then, the nitrogen is injected into the expansion chamber of the shock absorber to displace the residual air. Under heavy demands, the gas maintains damping performance by preventing the formation of bubbles, a phenomenon known as cavitation. Do you want to know everything about the manufacturing process? Watch our full video.